Time to drink champagne and dance on the table. Well, I've only spent about four minutes with these two, and I think uh, I think that's a pretty good motto. You guys probably live by it a little bit. There has been some dancing on the table for the show that we shoot, Love It or Lose It Vancouver, it but it didn't make the cut. Oh. Well, it was fantastic, though. It's on the cutting room floor somewhere. Somewhere, yes. absolutely. Yeah. I don't know how that started, but it was after a glass of wine. Absolutely. We think we should do a late, uh, we keep trying to pitch a late night show because they already have probably 20 episodes worth of material. Yes, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Double purpose it. It makes sense to I me. Know. Exactly. Now back to the reason we're actually here. Of course, you mentioned Love It or List It Vancouver, Jillian and Todd, the stars of the show. For people who've never seen the show, guys, give them a quick rundown. I am actually a junkie of this show, yeah. so I'll let you guys explain it though. Well, there is a family, husband and wife and sometimes children usually one wants to go one wants to stay not always husband and wife or husband and husband right. or wife and wife you never know yeah grandma and granddaughter maybe one day yeah, okay. maybe. and uh, anyway so what I do is I with a specific budget will renovate the home based on their needs while Todd is out there showing them alternate options yep mm -hmm. um, and then in the end we all come together we discuss it and they make a decision and whether they love it or list it the loser which is usually Todd, has to buy me a glass of wine. And then dance on a table. Yeah. <laughs> cue the sign. Cue you guys just sign. made this. It's it's perfect. Yeah. Now, uh, watch the show a ton. Of course, your show knew this came from uh, another show that yes. was done uh, out east. Yep. This show is amazing, though, and I just find, as a woman who was home for a year with the little one, I watched the heck out Did of you? this nice. show. Nice. And I, you can't help but when you watch it a lot, you can't help but put yourself in that position yeah. constantly and look around your house and go, oh, we could do this, we could do oh. this, we could do this. And I mean, I am the worst for that because I just bought a new house about uh, almost a year ago yeah. and I said to myself, it's perfect. I don't have to do anything to it, thank <laughs> God. Well, right now the kitchen walls are ripped down. The roof is the roof off. Is off <laughs> the windows are coming out and I'm like, why? What happened? Like, Because you sit there and you're thinking, now if I open up that wall, I could have a better view. Mm -hmm. And if I have a better view, I might as well get rid of the windows and put sliding glass doors. And if we're going to do that, we might as well do this. And then all of a sudden you're in a full-fledged renovation. Which is really what we're going to be talking about at yeah. the home show, which is this idea that people go, well, you know what? While you're at it, mm -hmm. why don't we just do this and this and this? And then you get the cliche over time, you know, double the time, double the budget. Right. And so you know, Jill and I actually share a lot of uh, commonalities in terms of what we believe in uh, investing in real estate, yeah. renovating, and design. Yeah. And um, although we don't get to play those roles on right. television, um, so we thought it would be interesting to look at how to get a space that you actually can fall in love with, you have that emotional response right. to, but at the same time be fiscally responsible. So set it up in a way that you can be successful and actually get the job done mm -hmm. and get it done in a way that you actually see it through to the to the to its finish line right. which, which is, is that last final pair in the vase right. or that last final like little antique piece of cutlery or whatever it might be i think that some people when they renovate or when they're building like todd has has said they forget to include that in the budget mm -hmm. you know and actually one of todd's greatest pieces of advice that i never thought of and um i really think i should think of it through our renovation is the sanity budget to go out for dinner a little bit more often and maybe get a hotel room and people don't budget those things right. um, but for me it's all about those final touches because you want I want my clients and I want to walk into my home and I want to go, oh my goodness, I, I connect to this space so much. And unfortunately, the most beautiful slab of Carrera marble mm -hmm. isn't going to make you do that. No. And it, the, I think one of the reasons why the show is successful is that it, it has universal themes. Absolutely. And that is what people look for when they're either out shopping for a house or they're trying to design a space, mm -hmm. is that emotional response. It's about lifestyle. Yes. And at the end of the day, as long as it kind of checks the boxes in terms of bedrooms and bathrooms, you know, that's what draws people to it. It's mm -hmm. those cliched phrases like, oh, it's my dream house. It's emotion based. Yeah. And so how do you get from the finances into the emotion and tie those two together? So hopefully <laughs> we can help people journey down that path yeah. and find a way to do it successfully. Well, I'm going to have to make an appointment with you right now for the weekend because me and my husband are in that exact same yeah. position. He, I can see all the renovations after watching shows like your guys's. Yeah. I can see all the renovations we can do to make it perfect. We love the location. relationships we break up. Oh, through the show. Let's not no, talk about that. I wow. think you keep them together. Oh, okay. Come okay. on. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Guys, uh, what is the most important thing? What do you want people to know when they come down for the weekend to the home show? And if they do see you, or are they going to have time to have those one-on-one -on -one questions with you guys? Well, it's funny. Yeah, there is. I mean, at the end of yeah, every absolutely. talk. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Uh, one of the things we were talking about on the plane is that I, there is no holds bar on uh, in terms of questions. You can ask absolutely anything you want to Jillian. 
Yes. <laughs> and she's Absolutely. under contract to answer every, every question. Every single right? question. I think it's funny because we both agree um, about each other's philosophies. But for me, I think what, if there's one thing I'd like them to know, it's probably different than what Todd would. For me, it's like, you know, it's, it is it is important, but it is just a space. So if you want to paint your wall blue, give it a shot. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, you can paint a diff different color. If you want to try something in your space, give it a shot. If it doesn't work, try in a different room or sell it or return it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's I think sometimes we stress out about it too much and at the end of the day it's really about what you like it's what you connect to so I always tell people who cares what's on trend who cares what the color of the year is mm -hmm. who I mean I love restoration hardware but buying that entire catalog is gonna make you connect to the space it's really about make figuring you out. connect to bankruptcy probably, yeah, yeah. Yeah. possibly. <laughs> to totally <your> and so <laughs> yes I do I uh, know I think Todd it's it is more about budget right. and I do think that budget is really important and that having the best of the best isn't going to make you happy yeah. you know and I love my house I absolutely love it but it did not bring me any more happiness and it's my dream house yeah. and I got my dream house and I am just as happy now as I was before I had it and so really it's all about that little tick ticker and you can get that in a little apartment mm -hmm. and you can get it without the Carrera marble mm -hmm. so Great advice, and I think you guys hit the nail on the head there with, uh, no pun intended, I think uh, with just the emotional attachment and the following through with whatever it is you're going to do. Don't yeah. do it half yeah. way. Yeah. Exactly, half way. way. That was the appropriate thing to say. Guys, thanks so much, Thank and you. best of luck awesome. with the show. Yep. You can come down and see Jillian and Todd down here at the Home Interior Design Show this weekend. We'll be back with Marco Calgary right after the break.